All right, it is time for another uh, stories on the go. All right, this time, this time I'm in Uzbekistan <laughs> and I'm, uh, you know, doing the cultural trip, doing the usual thing, going from Kiev to Samarkand to Tashkent, etc. All over the place. It's an amazing, amazing country. I would highly recommend it as one of the best travel cultural experiences I've ever had. Really, it's unbelievable. Kiva, man, that that that's basically mud fortress still exists from Genghis Khan era. He attacked it. My God, I'm serious. Uzbekistan's amazing. So, I'm with a group. We're on this tour, and uh, our group really wants this sort of like authentic experience. So we're going into villages. We stayed in a yurt in yurts in the in the desert all of that and so this one time we go to this this outlying village just to have proper food it was going to be plov and if you haven't had plov before there's a link in the description below about plov and it explains all about it i mean different cultures have different versions of plov uzbekistan is one in particular that i really like their their version of plov so um yeah <laughs> we're we're going to this village and we're gonna have some plov, right? And so we show up and everything, and, and everybody's sitting down, and we're getting to know the hosts of the, in this house, and it's just really calming and nice experience, right? And so then the one of the members of the household came up to me in particular, not the other people who were with us on the trip, but me, and they said, come, come, follow me. So I went, and then we went around to the back of the house, and then I realized what I was about to partake in. There was a sheep there, and I know that with plov, we need to have a sheep. And the knives were being sharpened, and they asked me to be a part of this process. Now, years later, I would again be a part of this process in the Maasai Mara for Christmas. And that experience also was incredibly special. Very sobering, very... I don't know, I feel like if you're going to eat meat, it's really important to understand and go through the process and, and have a, an appreciation for what's happening to the animal and understand what's happening to the animal instead of it always being so far away, packaged up in, in the grocery store that you just, out of sight, out of mind. I think it's really important that you actually feel it and experience it. And so this was one of those experiences for me. So we go in the back, as I said, they're sharpening the knives. They bring me in with them. There's two or three men there and they give me the knife. And I had to uh, prepare our food, let's say. What was surprising after that? Well, first of all, the experience was, it was emotional for me a little bit. I didn't cry, but it was emotional. It was moving. I'll remember this story. And um, there was a lot to it that just, you know, it helped me realize things. It helped me reflect. It helped me think about things. Um, and so in that way, it was a very important cultural experience for me. After we had killed the animal and drained it, um, drained the blood, then we it's time to skin the animal. And I was really surprised at how easily the, the skin just comes right off, especially with this particular knife, right off of the rest of the animal. After that, they permitted me to, you know, go ahead and go back in with the rest of the my my colleagues and just rest, you know, and <laughs> through the traumatic experience and prepare for food, wash my hands, clean myself up, and, and be ready. And so then they cut up the sheep and they prepared it after that for us. But that was that was a very interesting experience for me um, in Uzbekistan. And there's so many things I, I remember from Uzbekistan. It was such a beautiful trip, and this is one of those. That's, uh, you know, part of travel is sobering things, serious things, solemn things, and also exciting, exuberant, adventurous things. It's the whole mix. You need the, the whole range. It can't always be perfect, you know, infinity pools, hotels. I like, personally, the, the whole range of experiences. And so, yes, then also in the Maasai Mara in Kenya, I also had this experience years later. I didn't actually do the cutting myself, but I got to experience it firsthand and have fresh you know meat right then and there and uh, it, it, it's an interesting experience i definitely encourage people who eat meat 
to go through something like this so you better understand it. And some people may change their mind and they'll become vegan after that. It's possible. So anyway, this is one of my crazy stories in Uzbekistan and also in Kenya. Traveling teacher here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscription button and the notification bell button below. Make sure you like this video. And for more content, stay tuned. Check out this playlist. Check out that subscription logo there. Keep traveling.